Hey guys, Cool Blonde Way back. I'm Rick. I'm Eric. Alan. Aaron. We are here with Whiplash. <gasps> is that just like what you just did? That's Whiplash, right? Indeed. Yeah. So this is about the villain of Iron Man 2. Mm-hmm. Damn, the only one I haven't seen. Ha ha ha! Spoilers! Give us a two! <laughs> Okay. Uh, or Wonder Woman. This was a. This is one of those movies where everybody's like, "Oh, Whiplash! You gotta watch that!" I'm like, "Hell yeah!" But first, I gotta rewatch Ace Ventura: Bet Detective. I believe Why? it was G. Paul. Do you guys the... have that? Do you guys have that? Like on your Netflix or something? You have all these movies that people have said these are really good, but you end up like rewatching Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I'm watching. I do that all the time. Dumb and Dumber's on Netflix. If it was, I'd watch it. Sure. No, I get you. But you. Mean, I mean, like, there's but like, no. there's like the intellectual film goer. List of movies that I want to watch, and but I keep go going. And I'm, I keep watching this bullshit, Stupid giggle shit. Yeah, this I'm gonna, is a. I'm glad that Patreon. I'm watching West Wing. Wave Does West Wing request count? us to do this? No, it's very. Oh, well, congratulations! I, was, I believe it was G. Paul who gave us like donations on Twitch. Yep. For weeks. Yep. Weeks. Yes, Not enough to watch this. Movie. That's why we did this. I saw his post on Twitter where he's very excited. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but, we are but no, it went over patreoncom slash and yep. there should be a new poll soon yep. for the next movie. There, do, do, do. Uh, this also really has this a full-length version. Down in the description, you can find the link. If you are a raw writer at Patreon, you can watch the entire movie along with us. We're watching this off of Amazon. It's raw. It is raw, so you should be able to link this up with uh, pretty much any version of Something the movie, like as long as it's the same cut and speed. And so perfect. everything's the same as what we're doing here. Yep. We're watching it off Amazon. Yep. So I don't know what this movie's about. I assume it's not about Iron Man. You know what's about? Or I've I seen a trailer. I know what it's very about. Excited. I don't think I've even seen a trailer about it. Yeah. Spider Man. I no. don't think it's about Spider Man either. But I don't think it's about Iron Man in it. or Spider Man. Also, Cliff Johnson. Cliff is this Johnson? the movie he got like super jacked for? Remember, there's just, just like a random photo of him like super jacked, and people were like. What are you doing? Commissioner Gordon's not a superhero. Who? The J.K. Simmons? Yeah. Writer? I believe that was for Snowman. He's Snowman? In, no, he's, it's not true. He's, he's in a Klaus. Terrible movie. He's, a voice, <laughs> he's a voice of Klaus. He got jacked for a voice? <laughs> Why is hey. this man jacked? It makes Why sense. Why not? Rocky on the speed bag. I did this. No, one handed. Death Leopard. I think so. He said rock band. Why do you think he said rock band? I don't know! <laughs> Why did you stop playing? Did I ask you to start playing again? Uh, sorry, I asked I why something. you stopped playing and your version of an answer was to turn into a wind-up monkey. Sorry, I thought... Show me your rudiments. Jack. Double time swing. No, double time. Double it. Back. Faster. I'd like to beat one off there, yeah. What's happening? He was looking for players. Oopsie daisy. Forgot my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he made it. Uh, hey, it's Supergirl! Yeah! Kara! She knows his order. She knows everything. She's Supergirl. She's got popcorn. Oh no, those nice. people! Fuck! Nice. What the fuck is happening? Have you ever seen these people do this shit? No, they that's cost... the fucking dude from Mad About You! It is! You're right! Alright, let's do a uh, Reese. Yeah. Three. Watch it. Yeah. Is that the dude? Yeah, yeah. Is that the Jack dude? That. That's like a demand prevention. Demand. Oh, this guy. I don't know. Is he important for some reason? He's the badass of band, Aaron. I figured you'd be See, like, I have Formal Friday. We all look like this. We all look badass. Formal Friday. He's probably like. The top chairman guy of the conservatory or whatever. He's, he's the, like the curator. Whatever. He's the rock star teacher. Three, four. Okay, all right. Trombone, uh, part 24, the end of two. Maybe not. 
<laughs> let's, uh, let's hear a little double time swing. Behind. Oh! Same thing. What have you been practicing? Drums with me. Thank you, Joe. No, 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 other drums. Either that, either that it's so good or so bad. <laughs> or it's because of the interest. You know? Yeah. The passion. You can take someone with drive and get them to the point you want them to be at, but they gotta have that drive. This isn't drive. Smack it's whiplash. Depth. Which you get after driving too fast. With Calvin. <laughs> you don't get whiplash with me. Look, I don't really know how... I got a confidence you know boost. Lot, and I think that you're really pretty and... Would you want to go out with me ever? I won't say ever. Please go away. Oh my Please god. Stop. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm She's fucking sorry. with you! <laughs> what? With you. Oh my god. Uh, he's got to choose between his girl and his drums. It's... Yeah, he's probably gonna have to go late Monday. That's what happens when you tangle with the lord of the band. Uh oh. Did I say six? <laughs> six on three! Oh, that's, ah! that's a damn shame. I knew it said six! Gosh! Oh, that's no. a damn shame. I knew it! Oh, no. Damn shame. It's not your start. That's not. Oh! oh what start. the fuck, man? As long as you get found passed out, like, yeah. cussed in the stairwell. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> well, uh, you definitely want to. He's gone. You beat the shit out of yourself, you say you got mugged. Next time I'm late, I'm just gonna be at the bottom of the stairs, passed out. You guys are like, oh my god, he's probably he probably was here all the time. He's probably dead. Know. He's probably been here for hours. This guy's just like Steve. From Blues Clues. It's a great kid. He is. <laughs> Milk the cunt. Huh? Was that a code word? Milk it. <laughs> they teach you this in band? Well. <laughs> Alright gang, whiplash. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Gosh. Did this say 14-8? Yeah, I think so. Paige. Paige! Paige! Parker, that is not your boyfriend's dick. Do not come early. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lord of the band. <laughs> <laughs> Now this one really upsets me. We have an out of tune player here. Oh, gonna be the drums. Drums. Do you think you're out of tune? You could just get lost in those wrinkles in his face forever. Then why the fuck didn't you say so? For the record, Mets was not a tune. You were Harrison, but he didn't know, and that's bad enough. Jesus. Let me get back the squeakers on. Well, that's not something that you want to do after. <laughs> the key is to just relax. Don't worry about the numbers. Yeah, everybody seems so relaxed in his band. <laughs> Say it. Believe it. I'm here, here for, for a reason. reason. Oh. Believe it. Cool. He's a nice guy. Have fun. He makes everything feel like a threat. <laughs> Have you seen him? He's jacked! <clears throat> there's some fun band directors out there, and there's some, like, like hard-ass band directors. Yeah. I've seen both. Oh. Oh. What was that? The chair. I saw that coming. Pick one. I, I don't know. Ah! No! It's worse if you don't know! Start counting. Five, six, seven. In four, five. damn it! Look at me! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, well, he's two, slapping. Three, one, two, three, four. Jesus one, two, fucking Christ! I didn't know they allowed retards into Shaper. Am I to understand that you cannot read tempo? Can you even fucking read music? What is that? Eighth note? Yes, what is that? Down to 16. Were you rushing or were you dragging? 
Answer! Oh my dear God. Uh, are you one of those single tier people? Do I look like a double fucking rainbow to you? You must be upset. Are you upset? No. Uh, say it. I'm upset. Say it so the whole band can hear you. I'm upset. Louder! I'm upset. Louder! I'm upset! You are a worthless, friendless, faggot lip little piece of shit whose mommy left daddy when she figured out he wasn't Eugene O'Neill and who is now weeping and slobbering all over my drum set like a fucking nine-year-old girl. So for the final father fucking time, say it louder! I'm upset! Carl. Start practicing harder, demon. He got close to him just to tear him down. Fuck this guy. Someone spoke to me like that? I don't know what the fuck I'd do. You probably wouldn't hear him. He was on I other, suppose he was on that so, side. but I also might have to kick <laughs> in their ankle or something. Kick their ankle? Yeah. Oh. Fuck you. Did what you a like dick. Ankle? Yeah. From the side. He'll be limping for a few weeks. Don't miss that date. Ugh. Uh, I'm right there with you, buddy. Uh, blisters right there from all the drumming I've been doing this weekend. You don't have a drum! This is terrible. Music is not worth this! What? <laughs> why not? When I was growing up, my mom said I had a really big chin, and that's why guys wouldn't like me. Really? Yeah. You don't. What a weird she thing. She said my dad never seen this one. It's like Jay Leno, look. <laughs> <laughs> so Fordham was just like a random school? No, I applied to a bunch of schools and Fordham let me in. Why'd you pick Schaefer? It's the best music school in the country. Well, Fordham was Fordham. I feel like that conversation could have went better. Yeah. Keep looking at that guy's mustache. What? That's what you focus on? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> And that guy! I don't love it. I knew you were gonna say it. Careful, you're gonna need that foot. Kept looking at that damn guy in the background there because of you. Kept thinking about <laughs> the diabetes commercial. Well, because <laughs> it's funny. He had a huge I was mustache. looking at him until Eric mentioned him, and then I never looked at him again. Hey, when you're a big college kid, will you come play in my band? Like that? Be my piano player? Excellent, give me five minutes. Right. Fucking start pressing it now! <laughs> <laughs> Tempo! Tempo! <laughs> if I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to fucking God, I will stop being so polite. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish it. Who's that guy? <laughs> it's just a, a stain hand. Looks like. <laughs> I can still fucking see you, mini me! <laughs> Gosh, this guy's such a fucking asshole. I mean, it's great, but yeah, I love watching him. But he is. He's I don't know dick. what the fuck I do. Someone talk like that. Hold on, this for the second set. Don't put it down. Oh no. Don't. He can frame him. Don't put it. He put it down. The folder is your fucking responsibility, Tanner. Why would you give it to Neiman? Right? You give a calculator to a fucking retard. He's gonna try to turn on a TV with it. Now get your sticks and get your ass on stage. I. I, I can't. I, 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 I gotta write that one now. <laughs> I can't. I can. Uh, he did it on purpose? Do you think, yeah, he's the one that sold it? I feel like he did it on purpose. Uh, he looked like a little frustrated maybe there. Yeah. He's a little fast. Like it wasn't quite where he wanted it to be. And first place, Schaefer Conservatory. Yeah. Yay. I can thank these cocksuckers. <laughs> Turn the <a> TV. <laughs> Don't fucking touch my folder, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did they get rid of the other drummer? No, okay, he's, he's still there. He's I was there. Gonna be like, don't touch my folder because they got rid of the other guy. I love striped shirts. He does. I was just gonna say that. Tanner, what are you doing? It's core only today. I don't have time for alternates. Oh, Cherokee. From the top. He just got dropped. Oh. 
You can't memorize Don't music. Don't forget to turn Neiman's pages. <laughs> Don't forget to turn Neiman's pages. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> this is twisting that knife. He said he had a medical condition. He couldn't memorize it. Hey, the drummer of Def Leppard has one arm. That's a medical condition. I'm pretty <laughs> he, sure. He, he rocks. <laughs> he got someone else to turn his pages, though. He doesn't use pages. He memorized it. <laughs> it's his own music. He wrote it. As fate would have it, I recently stumbled across another kid in a practice room working on his double time swing. So I'm going to give him a shot. Okay. Am I late? Oh. Perfect timing. Come on in, Connolly. This guy. Uh, all I want to do now is just uh, give you both a crack at it, all right? So, Neiman, go ahead and jump on the kip. So he just saw it, and he had yeah. time to practice. He just got it, and he had it this morning. Yeah, he's had it all day. He's giving him champions to, right to, to, to just trash. Yeah. Hey, look, you, I can play these charts. I'm not, why would no, you do that? not the time, I swear to God. I can play it. Okay. Okay. I said not now! What was the phone if you want about? the fucking part, earn it. Who just died? That other drummer he got rid of? This is why I don't think that we should be together. Jesus. And I've thought about it a lot. I want to be one of the greats. And I would stop you from doing that. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Bull dodged, Melissa Bonet. How is her name? Anyways. Yep. Bull dodged, just like Supergirl would. She wouldn't. She wouldn't dodge it. She could if she wanted to, but she's also bulletproof. So she doesn't dodge bullets. She just gets hit by him. Ah, just broke his... No! How are you gonna practice? Hey, the drummer's got her the most rough. The fucking flute, flutists don't do this, you know? Like, are the saxophone guys, like, bleeding from the lips and shit? No. His name was Sean Casey. Was. Was. Yeah, he passed it. Sean... died yesterday in a car accident. I wanted you guys to know he was a beautiful player. I just thought you should know. It's good to work, huh? How about uh, Caravan Bar 105? <sighs> it's nice to know that he actually cares about the people. Oh, he does. He's just hard on them to push them more, I think. Which I think is what he's doing with Neiman here. Motherfucker! Get your ass back on the kit. We will stay here for as long as it takes until one of you faggots can play in time. Looks like that might be all night. Neiman? Damn, that's keep rotating out. Not my fucking tempo! You hear me, cocksuckers? You better start shitting me perfect 400s. Connolly, get your fucking ass back on the kit. <sighs> get off! They're all bleeding, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you looking for? There's no pot of gold down there. Really? <laughs> adjusting the seat, really? Stupid. That's been your fucking problem the whole time, the seat height. So now you have it, right? <laughs> Come on. But you got it. Oh, yeah. Fuck you! Neiman. Oh, the chair! The chair! Okay, they just no chair. <laughs> Start now. Fuck, now you gotta play. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, it was like 11.15. That's rough. Like three hours of them just been like. <laughs> Thank God there were three of them to take turns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Save your travel receipts. Or no, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> or no. <laughs> Does Fletcher have, like, a family? Like, what's his life like? Probably not much of a family. He's sweet to that little girl? Yeah. That's probably 
the dad was one of those previous students, right? Oh no, bus is breaking down. You just gotta run. Fuck it. No. no! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, you. Why do you always do this? Glad you can fit us into your busy schedule, darling. I know. Look, I'm sorry I'm late, but uh, I'm here, right? Kyle, explain the part. Yeah, like fucking hell, he's playing my part. What the fuck did you just say to me? It's my part. <sighs> it's my part, and I decide who to lend it to. Usually it's somebody that has fucking sticks. I can cut you any fucking time I want. You would have cut me by now. Try me, you fucking weasel! That's my part, I'll be on your stage. I'll be, I'll be in the car accident. Car accident. Fruit, no way he can get back there. No way. 18 minutes. So he's going to be driving fast, trying to get there, get his sticks, get back. He's going to crash. No. Oh, he didn't have a seatbelt on either. Hope that truck gives him a ride. He fucking just runs out of the car crash. Are you okay? Yeah, I gotta get my stick. No, 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 no. Stay away from the car. It's not healthy. Jeez, this is ridiculous. You didn't see him in an accident? How long did he have? It was two minutes ago. He's in a car accident. I can't even. Pass out. Just grab the drums and run. Grab the drums. No one can play. I can't, no one can. You're done, Jordan. Holy oh, shit! Shit. What the hell? Fucking you. Get off me! Off me! Fuck you! 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 Get off! Fuck! Shit. You. Dismissal. Mm-hmm. Looks like he might actually be playing piano. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, can this guy play piano? You only do shots like that if you can. Yeah. That's why he got so jacked. Yep. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you fucking moron can wave his arms and keep people in tempo. I was there to push people beyond what's expected of I believe that is an absolute necessity. There are no two words in the English language more harmful than good job. The truth is, Andrew, I never really had a Charlie Parker, but I tried. I actually fucking tried. What about Ryan Conley? All Connolly ever was to me was incentive for you. Tanner? Tanner switched to pre-med. <laughs> I guess he got discouraged. Oh, no. I wasn't checking my board time. Yeah. She's probably dating the leprechaun. What? She no, likes jazz. Or she's dating... No, he gave it up. <laughs> He's pre-med now. I'm a doctor. No. <laughs> that could also be a way of being like, I'm not interested. Yeah, I know. You know? I have to check with my boyfriend, but I don't think I can be... No, the other guy went pre-med. Connolly was... I don't know. He was doing something else. He wasn't good enough as well. Okay. Whew. What? What do you think? He's going to torture the girl? I, what was no, your... I thought... <laughs> Gosh, Never Rick. give up. I love putting rocks in my head. He let his and be like, what he gets here? Rick just sees it, he's like, oh no. <laughs> Man, don't put your music down. For the love of God. Hold on to the music. Just tattoo it to your fucking hand. To the, what? How would that help? It'd be blurred when you're playing. <laughs> How would that help? Uh-oh. The dad's here too. Yeah, no, that's not uh-oh. That's... 
He's doing proud. Yeah, but now he knows. Supporting his son. with Fletcher. You all set? All right. Let's have fun. Fun. It's totally different. Fun. You think I'm fucking stupid? I know it was you. What? I know it was you. He's gonna ruin his career. Putting pressure on him so he fucks up and can never do anything again. Well, like, they're not playing that song, you know? You gave him the different music. And we're gonna do some old standards for you, but first we're gonna start out with a new tune by Tim Simonet called Upswinging. He doesn't know the tune. It is a Dexter Kill Room. Does he yep. even have it? Oh, boy. Uh, oh. Give it to him. What's he supposed to do? So uncomfortable. Oh, what a this is dick. cringiest shit. Is Dad's there? Is Melissa there? No. His dad is there though. Yeah, I guess maybe you don't have it. Yeah. You set him up to fail. Should have kicked in this guy's ankle when you could. Tackle him again! <laughs> yeah, right! <rah! laughs> Worse than all the last time. <laughs> Dad's front row. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? They don't have a backup drummer, do they? I uh, see the other guys there. I don't know. I'm guessing most of you folks have heard. Show how good he is, regardless of whatever they're playing. Yep. Everybody I'll cue you in. He just takes over. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Fletcher! Ah, oh, thank God that guy started playing. Fuck you, yeah. Thank God that bass player's on board. Yeah, yeah. I know. It'd be real awkward. These guys all know It'd be real awkward if he just kept playing. All these guys know Caravan? Well, they had the music, didn't they? I guess I, I don't know. He had it, but I don't know if they had it, though. He didn't even have the other drummer. It's like, this concert just would have stopped, right? This was just pure revenge. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that gift so many times. Finally found the guy he was looking for. Ready for whiplash? Oh, there's the tempo. He's shaking his head, this crazy kid. And he's still playing to this day. Oh my god, that's 
where it is. The, the sequence lasted for like a half hour. And that was Whiplash. I'm sad they didn't end with Whiplash. Pretty sure they ended with Caravan, didn't mm -hmm. they? Wasn't that, wasn't that the double swing time one was Caravan? Yeah, Caravan yeah. was the last one they played. I don't know what a solo was. Yeah. You know what I loved about this movie? I actually maybe, maybe didn't the like solo was Whiplash. Uh, Sorry, Harry. Yeah. I was gonna say I actually didn't like any of the music. Like I'm just not a fan of that style of music. Huh. And I love the whole movie. You know, like, you didn't like any of the music. No, I, that that style of drumming and stuff. Like I I, I know it's, it's technically jazz. it's amazing. It's proficient and stuff, but it just doesn't or it doesn't hit my rhythm. I don't know. But I'm I'm saying that to prop up literally everything else. Like the 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 quality of movie making in this motherfucker was amazing. Especially the editing, because when you're editing, literally the music, it, it feels like it's so easy to just be like, and one, two, three, cut, and cut, and cut, because you're doing the music, but they chose not to edit it to the music, and it was amazing. I loved it. I loved all those sequences. Didn't really know where it was going to go or where it was going to end. Yeah. Like, I didn't know if it was going to end with him giving it up, or like what was going to happen. Like I, I figured that he was going to choose the music over the girl, but anything yeah. past that. I just had no idea. Like, I mean, I he preemptively chose the music over the girl. You know, like yeah, it, it didn't go in that direction because he just tur he like stopped it before it happened. Yeah, it was more there to like show his drive of what he was like, the yeah. things he was giving up and which directions he was pushing. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a it's a complicated, uh, challenging movie because I, I mean, one J.K. Simmons was amazing in this. The yeah. acting performance, but two, I hate that guy. <laughs> Fletcher? Like, Fletcher is the exact opposite of the kind of person I ever want to be around, but I love watching it, you know? Yeah. Like, if anyone I ever spoke you. to about me, I, I might get, like, an assault charge on, on my record or something, but I love watching it. Like, it's the kind of thing where it's like, you hear about the drive of these amazing people, and you're like, I don't know if it's worth it, man, <laughs> you know? But obviously, I mean, it's, it's something. It's tough, yeah, because, yeah. like, would Andrew have been as good as he was without him. Sure. Yeah. But will he ever be happy? I don't know. You know? I don't know if Andrew's ever going to be happy. What do you mean? Why not? I just don't think he will. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can assume that. Yeah. Or presume that. Yeah, maybe. like, I, I feel like getting to the point that Andrew's at mm -hmm. is, is the hard work, is the unhappy bits. I mean, but Sean Casey got there you, too, right? Once yeah. you exceed the expectations of what Fletcher wanted mm -hmm. him to be, yeah. then, like, then you've plateaued. You're in the clouds. Like, Sean Casey got where? Sean Casey also got past Fletcher too, right? Like, he was in a, a professional band or something. He, he, made, it, he made it to the, uh, the what is it, Lincoln? Was it yeah, called? Lincoln he made it into a core and stuff, yeah. But. Yeah. He also, you know, Fletcher said he never had a Charlie, whatever, you know? He never had someone who reached to that point of, like, if you have if you have that guy, that guy's not discouraged, you yeah. know? He's not going to give up, which is kind of like what happens there at the end where, like, he humiliates him. Yeah. Gets him stuck to where, like, look, now you, you're, I'm going to ruin your career and here's what's mm -hmm. going to happen. And then he leaves and he goes back out there and says, fuck it, I'm going to take over, I'm going to do this. And yeah. Goes uh, for how long? This, uh, and this... then he earns respect of Fletcher back, you know? <laughs> like, but like, is this... it worth all the Sean Casey's that it takes to make the one Andrew. That, that's the thing. I don't you know. think it's worth it. Like, you know, you, you talk about, like, the people at the highest level of competition and competitiveness, and, yeah, they achieve some amazing things, but they also have some pretty dark lives because of it, you know? Yeah. And all the people that they've crushed to get there, you know? I like the, uh, the element here of, like, the, the teacher, the mentor that gets you to that spot having to push you. And yeah, I mean, uh, what you said, you said, Sean Casey, like, he didn't have the fanatical passion that, uh, that Andrew had. And I think that's what, I mean, it drives him to depression and anxiety and he kills himself. Mm -hmm. And the motherfucker lies about it, you know? Yeah. He said he died in a car crash while grieving for him, you know? It's so complicated. I, mean, I didn't... It's so two-faced and two-sided. Like, I, I'm not sure if that was out of privacy concerns. Yeah. You know? I don't know. M more than covering up his own wrongdoings. I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I like, was he crying because he truly cared for the guy? Was he crying because he realized that he was responsible a little bit for, for this guy's, well, or, my, you know, mental state? I think he might have been crying also because he wasn't a Charlie. Mm-hmm. I think he just cares in a twisted way. Yeah. Kind of. It's complicated. Like, it's not one-sided. Like, I hate the guy, but I love him, too. I hate, I, I hate loving him. I mean, it doesn't make it better, but yeah. at least... These are all adults. True. You know, it's not yeah. like he's slapping Barely. kids. Barely. Kids in 19. Or I mean, yeah. Still an adult. Yeah. 
<laughs> True, but I mean, you're not fully formed until you're 25, mentally, you know? Yeah. He like, can still get fucked still, up. He's still sure. traumatizing, manipulating, yeah. abusing. I mean, you can do that with an adult. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, I mean, I, What do you mean it doesn't matter? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you can still manipulate, traumatize all that shit to an adult. It doesn't, fu- like, it's a fucking adult. It doesn't but matter. But an adult has, like, but it's can not give as his consent upon to, them to as it is be part a 19-year-old. Sure, yeah. I'm, yeah. Calvin, you're misunderstanding. An adult can be manipulated and treated just as badly as a child, is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't fucking matter. It's just as bad to an adult as it is to a kid. Although the kids are protected because they're kids, and they're not adults. They're not supposed to be making their own decisions in a way, you know what I mean? And I mean, it can that, that, That's kind of my, my point of view. I don't know. It's not it, equal. It can fuck it, you up it's, more as a it's kid. It's not equal, I think. Between an adult sure, and a child. Because sure, because... I don't know what you're saying. My point Don't was, do it to either one. Okay, it's I not agree good. with that. I'm saying it's not good either way. That's my point. <laughs> okay. okay, It doesn't I agree fucking matter. That, Aaron. You let shouldn't me, treat me... people like shit. That's the point, right? Uh-huh. But he, he's also... What he's trying to do, mm-hmm. and I liked what Andrew asked, is that, is there a line? Yeah. And the thing with Fletcher is Fletcher's like... No. no, there is no. <laughs> There's not. You know, and I yeah. think I think that's I think that's the discussion that's important. It's uh-huh. like I, I agree a lot with what Fletcher's saying. Like he's trying to push them further than what they are expecting of themselves. Yeah. But should there be that line there that Fletcher doesn't see of like this is when you've gone too far? You know, I think that's the the big the big issue that you need to look at. You know? Sure. No, I, I definitely get kids you. Kids or adults, either way. I feel like it's pretty easy to think that on this side of the line is not. Emotional manipulation, abuse, you know, like, that's pretty easily on the side of the line that's gone too far, in my opinion, you know? Um, but, I mean, the, you know, the, the cool thing about this movie and about these kind of conversations is that, look at the result. This kid is amazing, you know? Yeah. It's just that to achieve greatness, you got to do terrible stuff as well, you oh, know? Like, you it's can't... not one-sided. There's no, like... A uh, happy way to do it, and then become the ultimate, you know, Jedi Master because well, you you've done everything perfectly. Scientific method, right? Because yeah. you only get one shot with this kid. Yeah, so, like sure. you can't have an identical kid and see. Okay, well, let's exactly. do him this way and yeah. see how he turns out instead. Uh-huh. Like, if you're looking at that Charlie example that he had, where he threw a symbol at the kid's head, right? Yeah. Like that might work for that guy, but it doesn't mean it's going to work for Andrew or someone else. Yeah, if that symbol right? hadn't have been thrown. Would he have been become great anyway? Mm-hmm. You know, like it, it's possible. Yeah. We'll never I mean, know for sure. I get what Fletcher means too about like the the good job idea, right? It's like almost like the participation trophy idea, right? Like, oh, well, I did well enough. You know, I don't need to strive further, or I don't need to push more, or whatever. Yeah, it's it's about having what your what the goals are and what the push is. I think but, like, there's a difference between like setting high standards and pushing someone versus like drowning someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. You know. I think like, there's a, there's a difference between being competitive and being like obsessive competitive, you know? Like the person that you watch and like obviously they want to win, but they want to win in a way that's like you know, when it's like let's go out there and have some fun, you know? Like yeah. when you want to play a game and I want to have fun, but I'm competitive. But then you get with somebody that's so competitive, there's no more fun. Sure. I'm fucking out, you know? But I'm never going to be the master of this game if I don't have that feeling of like I need to win every single time if I lose that person that person has fucked me I gotta fuck them back you know like that's why I'm never gonna be the best in the world at fucking you know every game ever <laughs> cause I'm not like that yeah well I don't know what the they fuck me I need to fuck them back I think yeah. it's more about like what what can you learn from sure, this like, right um, this I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt. No, I, I, I don't remember what it was. Now. I was going to say, like... another direction I was going with Fletcher about now. I think a great watch after this, if no one has seen it, is go watch Michael Jordan's The Last Dance documentary about the comp- competition at the highest level and the mindset he put himself in. Like, in order to win, he knows it's not like this, but he convinced himself it is like this to become the winner. You know? Like, he would make up these elaborate stories in his head of what these guys said about him or felt about him. Even though they're like, you're the greatest. I would never say that. He's like, fuck you. I know you said it. You know? Hmm. But that's the level of drive he put himself to be the greatest of all time. See, the difference there, though, I think, too, is like, you can have, like, for Andrew. Yeah. Like, if Andrew puts himself on Jordan's side of things, mm-hmm. right, where he's drive, he has the obsession and push, yeah. versus the mentor slash teacher person yeah. having that same drive and push, I think, is a, 
while one is unhealth can be unhealthy, the other yeah. one I think is more unhealthy because you have an external force True. forcing maybe what someone doesn't want. It's like Rock Lee. You know what like I mean? No one's pushing Rock Lee to do that. Yeah, Rock Lee's pushing Rock but Lee. But that's to do that. That, yeah, Rock Lee's like he wants yeah, that so bad. It's so the hard, difference you know? between abusing yourself and abusing someone else. Yeah, I guess so. You know, like yeah. it's more acceptable to abuse yourself. I suppose because your that's your choice. Yeah, because you know? the scene is drive rather yeah. than like abusing someone. Yeah, you it, know, if you want something from yourself. You can make yourself yeah. do that, and no one can really stop you. Like, but if someone else like puts their thumb on the back of your yeah. head, if and Calvin makes doesn't, you do it. If Calvin doesn't want to be the greatest fucking I don't know, chef in the world, mm -hmm. but I'm like, I want Calvin to be the greatest chef in the world. I'm gonna fucking push him. I don't want fucking Calvin to bleed into my ground beef and shit. I yeah, I know. You stuff. know, <laughs> and then he's just fucking. He, he hates everything. Yeah, like that. That might be the thing. Maybe, maybe that Sean Casey guy, you know. Maybe he had some drive, but it wasn't to the extent of what Fletcher was wanting. Yeah, and that's that's where the that especially unhealthy section happens. Is that oh yeah, it's not what he was necessarily wanting, mm -hmm. but he was being pushed to believe he wanted it. And then when he couldn't achieve it, you know, he found dep and, depression, well, anxiety. It's almost and like a too. cult too, because like this this music is all you have. This band is all you have. If mm -hmm. you get kicked out, then you feel like you have nothing. So the yeah. drive is to stay in, to be good enough, to yeah. be wanted, to be desirable. But I don't think Sean Casey was kicked out, though. You know, I think it no, was more he of like... he he ascended and stuff. But that's that's how Fletcher treats his band. You know, he's like he's like a cult leader. Like whenever he he's happy with you, like the whole room feels less tense. There's definitely like a Stockholm syndrome, yeah, kind of thing. But like for for every great player, they got a symbol thrown at their head, and that's what made them great. How mm -hmm. many others almost gave up on it, but yeah. got a word of encouragement? And then stuck with it and became great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, there's there's the thing of like like that was an example of humiliation that pushed someone to go further, but it, examples of the opposite where it's not humiliation but encouragement that pushes them to go further. Right? Is that, yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. Like, I mean, he also just straight up uses people in a way though. He said that one guy was only there to be a foil to you. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. is that other guy, was he trying to push him as far as he could? Or was he only using him to push his other guy that See, he saw as better? Is that one... I, I feel mean, like that's a like more... trading up an apprentice as a Sith. I think it's yeah. a more healthy way of going with it, though, where you have someone else and there's a competition of them pushing each other, mm -hmm. you know? But that's if you're also, I guess, trying to push both of them. Yeah. Well, right? it's, it's a real risky thing as, like, an instructor or coach or whatever when you prejudge someone, mm -hmm. because that makes it so much more likely for the outcome to happen. Yeah. The, there's like a, a theory, I forget the name of like it. Like if you prejudge that they're gonna fail, yeah. then they're more likely to yeah, fail. Yeah, exactly. Then you're looking for more reasons to prove yourself right. Calvin, yeah. you spoke my language just a second ago when you said it's like the Sith, where a <laughs> Sith Lord, a Sith Master, would rather have a dead apprentice than a weak one. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, it's like episode six, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Like, he saw Luke as more powerful, so he yeah. was trying to get Luke to destroy Vader. And take his so place that, on so my side. So he would have a more powerful apprentice. Yep. We can say all these other but, things, but, but now Vader I'm just like, yep. Vader was perfectly fine yeah, exactly until Vader. he saw Luke. Yeah. The one thing I'm wondering is the trombone guy. Yeah. I was looking for the Mars bar on the floor. Like mm -hmm. that, that whole segment. Yep, yeah. right. I was just curious on his method of doing that, because he said that he found someone out of tune. Yep. But he targeted him. But then the guy that was out of tune, he never said anything to The him. guy didn't fight back and say, no, and I wasn't out of tune. I get, like, he didn't know if he was or wasn't in tune, which is bad. Yeah. But I'm like, like, was it set up to test him or was it not? Was the one guy ever actually out of tune? Like, I'm not, I'm not sure, you know? like. I think they were, I think the one guy just being questioned and buckling, like, not knowing if you're in tune, like, you... You clearly don't have what it takes to, to be in this band. So he just used that as an excuse to get but him out. I get what you're saying. Like, he should have dismissed that guy and the guy that was out of tune. Unless yeah, the guy was out of did. tune. No. no, Erickson didn't get dismissed. Yeah. He, he used that guy, I think, as a warning to the other guy. Mm. Of like, I know you're good enough to do this. But, but honestly, he, he might think that. I mean, looking at everybody else there, that guy was the biggest guy. He, I mean, this guy's a fucking asshole. He's a homophobe. He's probably just judging this fat kid as not being worthy. I'm gonna get him out too. And that's all he said about him was just his weight, you know, and that he the didn't entire know time. He was into well, I, I think he was just, you know, this guy's super in shape. He's judging this fat kid. Get him out too. I mean, yeah. Maybe it could have also been based on. I mean, if he didn't know he was in tune, that yeah. is bad. I yeah. wonder if he was a bad, like if he was the worst one there, mm -hmm. and he was like 
pushing him to see if he knew if he was in tune and when he yeah. wasn't. I mean, he was already out. in fourth chair, right? Which yeah. Was the last that's, that's that's that kid didn't before, fight back you know? at all. I mean, you know. I, I don't know if it was Andrew related. literally fought back. I don't know if it was related to his weight or anything. I wonder if it was related. To, like, that's part of my question, I guess. You yeah. know, like, was it was it staged for him? Like, a lot of stuff seems staged. Like, was the folder taken by Fletcher? Yeah. You know? Yeah, who took the folder? No, Andrew took the folder. He said, like, it just got lost. He did a quotation mark. I think he, he knows that Andrew took it. You think Andrew took it? Yeah. But so he tossed it on the chair and then hit it real quick? I think so. When? You think he's stuck in the vending machine? We just didn't, I don't know. We just didn't see what he The did weird thing with that is that we saw him toss it down and then yeah. we followed him. So it seems weird to be like, oh, well, he lost mm-hmm. it. So I don't know. But I was wondering, like, what happened with, the, with that? Was that a Fletcher thing? Pushing Andrew and giving an opportunity that didn't seem like... True. Maybe, I, I mean, maybe I'm know? just reading yeah. in too much to his, like, quotation he, marks. He could just be quoting, like... Who quotation I t- uh Fletcher does. He, when he talks about it, like, he just lost it or something like that. He quotation marked it. But Fletcher would also quotation mark it, too. True. If, if, yeah. If, if Fletcher's the one that stole it. Yeah, but I feel like... In, maybe I have to rewatch it. I feel like in that segment, he was talking about the things that you have done to get here, and then you still fuck up. Well, know? he could have also been saying, like... It, he arranged to do it, yeah. right? Like Fletcher's blaming him of like, look, you did this, you lost it, mm-hmm. so that you could get a seat on the yeah. drums. You know, you didn't earn it. You've you finagled your way there. So, yeah. But I just wonder, like, with him talking about different things and how the one guy was an incentive and this and that. Like, I wonder what things Fletcher did to push different people. Like, yeah, was kicking that trombone guy out just a way of pushing the rest of the band. And he was planning on getting rid of that trombone guy anyway, mm-hmm. or something. You know, I, yeah. I don't know. It's a very challenging movie. <sighs> yeah, man, getting that car accident, flips over, and he just—I was making a joke like he's, he's, he's going to keep going, but he now he kept going. And you just pushed this kid too hard, you know. Like he's I understand, like drums, you know, I mean, actually, I should say that I should say I don't understand. I don't understand that level of competitiveness and wanting to be the best. I think it takes it too far, but. Trying to place myself in the mindset of someone that has that drive and wants to be the best, not just good, but when people think of basketball, they think of Michael Jordan, you know? Yeah. They, when they think of golf, you think of Tiger Woods. You want to be that for the thing that you are. Like, I don't necessarily understand. I don't think that what he gave up and what he sacrificed is worth that. Because it's going to be, I, I, I feel like in that mindset, you'll never be a happy person. But I don't understand. I don't know that. I mean, it depends That's on just your what I feel like. perspective, right? Yeah. Like, it seemed like yeah. happiness was less to him than his legacy. Sure. Right? Yeah. And, it, yeah, it really depends on what's going to make you happy. Like, mm-hmm. there's plenty of people who, you know, who have kids and love yep. kids. And that's what makes them happy. And there's people who are like, I have no interest in kids. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I can't presume that he will be unhappy. No. Having, like, a successful career or any of that kind of mm-hmm. stuff, you know? Now, yeah. I, I don't know how, how much of a depression, anxiety, or anything will affect him or whatnot, but... I mean, I would think the big worry, because, like, if you're struggling against something and you finally overcome it, like, that's a great feeling. Yeah. But, like, I think the problem comes in when you have to replicate that feeling in other ways, and usually, like, turn to drugs or something. Sure. I mean, yeah, he won't, you know, the way that he was talking about, like, how many friends you guys? Like, I don't need any friends, but, you know, no one, you know, like, you're not this person's friend, but you remember their name, you know? Like, I just, I, I, I... you're right. I, I, I'm admitting that I don't know and that I'm ignorant to, like, that mindset. Like, I don't think I'd ever be happy that way, you know? Sure. What do you replace friends with and family with and, and that kind of stuff? What kind of life does he lead after this, you know? Is his, is his friend now J.K. Simmons? And you have all that stuff when you're there. That's a, who needs enemies when you have friends like these, <laughs> you know? He used a whole goddamn, this was an opportunity for all those people, and he used it to fuck the drummer, you know? Who fucked him? Yeah, like, I wonder where the backup drummer even was. I what don't do you think mean? he had one. He probably didn't have a drummer. You know... This is crazy. I know. Why is it crazy? It's crazy. Wait, what, what's crazy? Well, it's crazy that he used this opportunity for all this entire band and himself to get revenge on this person. Okay. No one that. no one goes out of that being like, what a great concert, except for that drummer. They go, man, that was fucking weird. Yeah, they did you know? one set, and then this concert would have been over. Yeah. Right? All he, those people would get refunds or no. like... He ah, sacrificed so many things. The concert doesn't have to be over. What are you talking about? Well, they were also, weren't they just opening for something? They were so? opening yeah. for, a, for a whole thing. Yeah. And they had, like, more songs they were going to play. Yeah. But, like, I feel like, and, and I'm probably ignorant of this process, too, but I feel like everybody that was in that band, he's all like, you all have an opportunity to be seen here. And he fucked it up for all of those people to fuck over this one guy. 
Because I don't, I personally don't know if there's like a scout up there and like, oh, the drummer sucks. But you know, Channel Four on viol or uh, on trumpet doing pretty good. You know, well, because yeah. the only thing you're thinking of is this guy messing up. Like he ruined th their opportunities this time. I don't know if he ruined like all their future opportunities necessarily. True. Like they could still get other shots. Yeah. But like. If Andrew had left, he would have never gotten another shot. I don't. No, no, probably not. No, I mean, I actually what they did too, because they literally had him run to the arms of the parent that would, you'll never disappoint me. I will unconditionally love you. Let's go home, regardless of what you do or say or achieve. And he denies that and goes back to the abusive asshole that will get to where he wants to go. You know, I, I just think that was a. I mean, again, I hate it, but. I also think it's a great story to watch, you know? Like, watching that happen was very, I'm like, I can't believe he's doing this. And then he goes in and just says, fuck you, and takes over. And thank God that bass player came in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, him and then the piano and then everyone else is like, yeah. all right, let's do this. <sighs> that solo went for so long. Yeah, it did. I thought, kind of like, uh, I think it was Calvin that said, I thought maybe, like, we would go into... So I thought we did Caravan there, and I yeah. thought maybe we were going to go into Whiplash, into and Whiplash. then end with Whiplash or something yeah. like that for the movie, but he just did a long-ass solo, and then they did one more, like, Bow! Well, do you think part of it is that because it ends so abruptly without Whiplash, that is, like, you literally getting, like, wait, wait, we're maybe, done? And that's the Whiplash yeah. again? And maybe it was Whiplash. I just thought that he started Caravan, because that was the one they were working on, right? Yeah. That was, like, the double swing time, like, super mm -hmm. fast, like, tempo thing. And I was like, well, that was the one he couldn't get. He got Whiplash. Yeah. He couldn't. He memorized Whiplash, right? Yeah. I loved He the, couldn't get Caravan, so that's why I thought he was doing Caravan. I loved Whiplash so much more when they slowed it down, the, the style of music. I don't know. I, 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 the final sequence, which went forever, like it went for a very long time. Like halfway through, I was like, you know what? This is keeping my attention. The shot choices, they're amazing. And then like another like five minutes happened. I'm like, I think I'm done with this song. And then it ended. I was like, oh, okay, it worked. But from the it, was, it only part. went a little long for me, you okay. know? Like the long drum part, you mean? The what? drum part, but also, like, there was one part during the music where I, I noticed, like, I was, like, not paying attention at a certain point. And I was like, maybe this is going too long for me, but it also might just be my not enjoyment of the music. I was trying so. to put myself in the audience and be like, what the hell am I thinking if I'm in this <laughs> audience, you yeah. know? Like, it, yeah. it, it, this is just the opening act and not, like, the main show. Mm -hmm. Like... You just have this guy playing his drums, like the conductor seems to have lost control. You walked out, it came back on, like, yeah. what the fuck's going on? Like, I guess it's only about the drummer. Like, fuck that awesome bassist that supported him. Didn't get his chance to shine, you know? <laughs> and they all did eventually. They had more music. Sounded great. <clears throat> See, I thought that he was going to just go back out there and they were going to do their next song. Yeah. And that he was just going to, like, freestyle into it and actually mm -hmm. make it work. Like, he was gonna, like, I'm going to do this. I'm yeah. not going to fuck it up. Yeah. But... He just took over. He got people's attentions. I mean, yeah, I just... Also, the, the one thing, too, like, that I think works for you, Eric, yeah. like, it wasn't necessarily about the music. Yeah. That's why, like, we had a dip of no audio a couple times. Oh, no, like, exactly. Just everything yeah. just quiet, and it's more about him and the moment. And what's no, I mean, and... it's like, it, it, this is a sports movie. Right? Without sports is how I felt like it. Yeah. Does that make any sense? No. <laughs> like, I, I I'm not interested in hockey, but when I watch Miracle, I'm at the end, I'm like, I fucking love this, you know? Mm. It's like they're Jesus on water. Jesus on water. <laughs> yeah. Nursing Miracle. Kurt Russell was a tough uh, coach in that, too. Yeah, he was. But, I mean, you know, that's one of the staples of a sports movie is the tough coach that pushes you, you know? And usually it ends with them like, you did it, kid. Just like I knew you could. And this ended with them just like, like, I hate fucking them each other. <laughs> it's like, it's it's JK here uh -huh. versus, like, Denzel yeah. from Remember the Titans. Yeah. You know? Like, he was hard on them, too. But he also, like, he pushed them in good ways and stuff, I felt like. And, yeah, and I mean. Had, like, the longest yard. Did you ever see Varsity like, no Blues? Abuse and just all support. Like, Varsity Blues has John Voight, who is the coach that pushes them too far. And, and pushes one kid too far. You is know? the one where they go to the strip club with the teacher? I think so. Well, it's like I remember that part. Remember the <laughs> the whipped cream bikini? No, I think that was in Varsity Blues, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah. I remember that in one of those parody teen movie things. Not another teen yeah. movie, maybe. Mm. Well, okay, that was parodying Varsity Blues. Yeah, I remember the parody, but I don't yeah. remember what it was parody. Okay. <laughs> well, um, he came out and had like he had whipped cream on him and stuff like that. He turned around, and there was a banana. In his <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Captain America. Yeah, I think it was. It was yeah. Chris Evans, wasn't it? Rick, yeah. you were saying. Oh, gosh. Well, like. Um, <laughs> Uh, Bob Knight was an example of a basketball coach. Bobby Knight. 
That yeah. th- he's the red sweater guy that threw the, the chair into the... Yeah, like yeah. He, he was an example of a coach that like went too far yep. and got fired for it because mm-hmm. he just pushed too hard and like was violent. Was that an NBA coach or... A... I think it was a college basketball coach. College basketball? Well, wasn't he Duke, I want to say? I, I don't actually. know exactly. I just more, I remember the parodies. Bobby Knight! I legitimately remember the parodies. Mm-hmm. Like SNL of it's that. Like, I remember the parody. I'm not really a sports guy, you know? Blues. But I do like stories about... Uh, the Hoosiers. Uh, okay. The Hoosiers. But I, I do like stories about, you know, competition and achievement and pushing yourself. This was the extreme. And the best line, like you said in here, is like, where's the line? Mm-hmm. Um, because this was so far over the line, I couldn't believe it. Like, this, like... Like, fucking Fletcher is a terrible person, but he is could be a mentor to the greatest player on earth. Those two things are not exclusive, you know, or mutually exclusive. Yeah, I get you there. Like, I, you know, I'm a relic of, uh, of inappropriate humor going too far, and he had a lot of inappropriate humor that was just... There it, was some stuff I was... It's I, so funny. I felt bad at laughing about. Oh, it's so funny. You know? I mean, it was like... It's terrible. It was full metal jacket. Yeah. It was was like that. True. It it makes you... Like, if this was 20 years ago, I'd be like, ah, with no remorse. And now I'm I'm like, ah, man. What's wrong with me? I'm laughing at this. (laughs) Man, it's crazy from the very beginning how he was, like, yo-yoing with his emotions. Because he was, like, trying to build him up, make him confident, ask him questions about his family life. Yeah. And then immediately there afterwards, he takes that to just cut him down. Calling his dad a loser. He's learning from, like... Things to try to, yeah. It, it, it is kind of like a full metal, right? It's like drill sergeant things. It's like mm-hmm. cutting them down, destroying them to build them back up, hopefully, but, in a in what they want them to be. But you just kept doing that in a cycle because then, like. Which isn't allowed anymore right now in the military, right? Did they get rid of that or make a like a rule of law against that? Yeah. I think. It's um, different. There's different things that you can do. You can't. You can't touch. It's You can't you, touch. You, you can't hit someone that they Anyone. You can't, you can't touch cadets. You can't, yeah. like, insult them. But you can, you can say things that sound like insults. Mm-hmm. What does in that mean? A harsh tone of voice in their general direction. You think you can run? I'm asking. <laughs> no, but like getting in their face and asking them questions like over and over. And Look at Martin. Again. He's doing amazing. You're not doing quite as good. You know, like, it's all compliments. Telling them to do push-ups and then telling them to do jumping jacks and then yeah. telling them to do push-ups, like stopping them midway and mm-hmm. like doing that like 50 times in a row. Sure. Like yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it was like he would cut him down, build him up, but he just kept doing it over and over again. Like, I mean, he would cut them down and I feel like slightly build them up and so, require them to build the rest of the way up. Yeah. You know, there's not much building up. I felt like he did. Well, he like gave him the, the core position or whatever. The building yeah. up that they that they felt was their achievement, not any like congratulations. For they had to earn the build up. They got yeah. the cut down for free. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, some of the build up too was, or the, the building them up was like, you earned this. Yeah. Like but, him saying that was like. But then the very next scene, saying, "You didn't earn this. This is mine. I'm I'm, I'm loaning it to I'm you. Lending, lending it to you. Yeah. To, yeah. And, and no, like in you. a weird way, like he was cutting him down. But even as he was cutting him down, he was so much more confident than he mm-hmm. was before he started in that group. Yeah, mm-hmm. that guy was. See the the some of the things that though. We're not, yeah, we're not thinking about the hundreds of other people that probably you know. Some of the things that they did. I know I disagreed with was like, like when he brought in. Connolly, right? I think mm-hmm. it was his name. Like, I think having another person to help push, right? It, it, True. Yeah. it works. I think it's good. But That's he also partner. brought this kid in, said, all right, we're going to test this right now. You have the thing? Yeah, I gave it to you this morning. Okay, you get it right now. Now you guys go. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, he already knows this, at well, least for hours more yeah. than what he knows. Yeah. You know? Well, like, he, has to, he has to push him was, to a point where he has to catch up so much faster, and that drives him to achieve. Yeah, giving him a disadvantage. Know? So he has more ground to cover in the moment, but they, neither of them, all three of them, couldn't do it. Yeah. Oh, we get it through like assuming, but it would have been interesting to see the other drummers and see them give up earlier and not train quite as hard. Because we, yeah. we we only ever saw Andrew. Like we don't know if the other drummers were also like kicking out inside their drum, yeah. like spilling blood. Like, yeah. How many hours they were practicing? But I feel like Connolly was just he was talented. And he didn't have to try very hard. One of the other ones was bleeding during the big session. Yeah. That was the... Yeah. The... Tanner. Yeah, Tanner. See, I don't know if we need to see that, though. Like, I don't think that's... 
the story, you know? I don't know that we need to see it. I don't it's need... just like... Because they're not the ones that ultimately get to the level that he's looking for. Yeah. Yeah, well, Tanner, you know, was, he, he left him into pre-med. Like, yeah. he didn't want to be a drummer enough to yeah. stick and find something else. Whenever Fletcher was gone, he went somewhere else, you know? Sounds an interesting movie. Because it's about, do you have what it takes to get to this level? And if yes, maybe it wasn't worth it. <laughs> is that what it's saying? That's how it feels like to me, yeah. Do you have what it takes, and is it worth it? I feel like it. I mean, the denial of his father at the end, like, you know, losing the girl that he was interested in, like, not having any, like, relationships or friends, like, 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 is that worth it? You know? Well, I mean, I think it's, I think the question is more like, is anything out of balance in order to make greatness? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, see, I don't, I don't, I think those are the same, I don't view, the same way to say that. I don't know if I view those at all. I think the Melissa Benoit stuff, uh -huh. I think it's there as a point of like, you know, he, he saw what he wanted, mm -hmm. he went with that, then he realized, you know, maybe I need more out of this. Yep. By the time he went for it, it was too late. Like, you, you don't want to give up on things early on, like, like uh, what, Nicole, right? Like, that's part of that. I think part of the thing with the father was that the father was there, regardless of how humiliated and ridiculous he looked, mm -hmm. whatever he did, his father was there for him. Yeah. And was willing to take him in his arms, say, let's go home. Mm -hmm. I don't think he turned him away. I think he said, I'm not giving up on this. You know, and he goes back in and he proves that I can do just as good and, and proves Fletcher wrong, right? I don't like, know. I, I don't I, think I, it's, I feel like I don't the, think he's pushing his I father feel like away the going saying, back is the I'm done with you. I feel like the going back is the embrace of what Fletcher has said the entire movie, which is that your father's a loser. Don't be a loser like your father, you know? Is it, why is it that? For, I, for what? I, I feel like it's an embrace of that because him and Fletcher connect and he gets to what Fletcher has wanted. I can see it from both perspectives because I, the, you know, the two worst words in the English language are good job. Mm -hmm. Sure. Like, being enough for someone but not being enough for yourself I think that's why he left his dad I mean, to go back, you know? He's definitely torn to his family during the dinner scene for the yeah, weekends, sure. kind of. But I think that was also a mixture of, like, feelings he had of, like, oh, I just got core. And then the football star showed up, and everyone ignored whatever he said, and then they talked about all the talent at the table that was everybody but him. Sure. You know, so yeah, I don't so think it was that. Like, he, he was pushing against that. They're not being treated equally. So because they're not being treated equally... He makes himself the superior, you know? Like, like there's no, like, he, there's no balance there. He did this to them, yeah, you know? Yeah, he treated them like they were treating him, right? And I, also, I suppose, he is yeah. the superior. Huh? Also, he is the superior. If you put him on the same level, I suppose, yeah. Because, like, he's one of the best at the best school in the country. Yeah. And the football player is playing in, you know, Division Three. Sure, Yeah. But he's getting no recognition from his family for it, mm -hmm. and I think that that's a build-up there. And maybe yeah. that's because of Fletcher and the stuff he's getting from there that he kind of lashes out a bit more. Yeah. But I think it's, I think it's like feelings that were kind of, he had resentment. He didn't, he didn't like that. Mm -hmm. No one would even really acknowledge what he got. Yeah. And everyone looked at him and was like, oh well, glad that's going well for you, you know. True. But he, you look at it, he got ninety-three yard, like thing, you know, yeah. like. And I, I, I don't know. I don't think they're doing it on purpose. I think it's just like. Football is easier to understand, probably, yeah. because no, yeah. you know, the dad might have played football. And so, I, like, that's his world. Yeah, I think that's a lot to do with it, is, like, you know, ask him about his music stuff. It's like, how's that drumming stuff going? It's like, oh, oh that, that sounds real cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you, did you hear about this thing? Oh, it's, it's so cool. Yeah. You know? Like, he can't relate to it at all, so he's just nodding and smiling until yeah. the moment has passed, and then he can talk about the stuff that he's interested in. I get but, that. I was also just, just, I feel like it's a little bit of a commentary on um, sports versus the arts. True. A little bit. Because yeah. of, like, where the focus is in our schools mm -hmm. and where the money goes and the funding and stuff. They always go to sports. It, it always goes to sports. Like, 99% of the funding goes to sports rather mm -hmm. than the arts. And uh, Well, I mean, and when you're selling tickets, most people will go to a football game, but they don't necessarily go to the concert, you know? Yeah. Or a play. Or Unless they're one of the parents. Mm. And it's like an obligation. But, I don't know. At the end there, I just felt like Andrew is... He has the encouragement. And he has possibly... I don't, I don't know. I, like, I don't know. By the end of it, does, when he's done with this drum thing, does he go and say... Like, what do Fletcher and him say? 
I, it, I wanted to know that. Is there an understanding and yeah. they part ways? I have whiplash because I didn't get it. Is there, <laughs> I'm going to, you, know, you know, stay in the band, we'll keep going with this. Uh-huh. You know, like, what, what is it? But it could be that he proved that he was better and there was, a, there was like a respect rebuilt maybe between them. And then they can go their separate ways and he still yeah. has his dad that will support him in any way he went to. You know? It certainly seemed like, like Fletcher had that epiphany. But Andrew was sweating too much. I had no idea how he felt. Sure. Because he was just busy. But you, but you <laughs> saw, like, Fletcher going through kind of, like, he's angry, right? Yeah. He's going to gouge your eyes out. Yeah. You know? And then it starts kind of having, like, it, he's, he's it nodding. It dawns on him what's happening. Yeah. He's nodding and listening and watching. And True. he's like, oh, you know? And then he knocks like, over his symbol. Fell, he, he, he sets it, it back like, up, you know? Yeah. like Nodding, encouraging. All right, go ahead. Let's do this then, you know? Like, he yeah. a fucking demon from Fantasia. Just <laughs> rising things from the ground. He, he was. A little bit hell out of now. I, I, there was a part of me that wanted to know a little bit more about Fletcher. Uh, like, does he have a family or is there anything about his life? Because we didn't really get that. We only got what he does to the students to, to push them. Yeah. And like at the moment when he's like, ah, oh, you finally got Fletcher's respect in my head. I'm going like, I don't want Fletcher's respect. Fletcher's a Fletcher sucks, man. I don't want his respect. Um, so that triumph that he got that is conflicting for me, which I really enjoy. I enjoy a, a challenging story. Well, like it's that, tough, you know? right? Because if Andrew is like, fuck this guy. Yeah. And like, doesn't want it. Like, uh, He's Fl- proving Fletcher right. Fletcher is always going to think, I made this kid. Yeah. yeah. You know, regardless of what Andrew thinks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But did he? I think that's what Fletcher is going to think. I, I, I know. Without Fletcher, I don't but think he would have gotten to his point. Without Fletcher, would Andrew have reached his point? Or would he be in the Nassau band with uh, the police captain from Black Light? Yeah. You know, like. I don't know. I, I don't know if Andrew would have ever. Like, in the long run, did Fletcher push this kid? to something greater than what he was before. He did. I think undoubtedly, yes. But could he have pushed him differently and achieved the same results? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's I think thing. that's the big question. And, and yeah. also, like, in the same time frame. Like, he was pushing himself, blood, yeah. you know, blisters. You know, he he pushed hard a couple times that we saw, you know? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because we never got an opportunity to see him, like, not pushing himself with encouragement, you know? Not pushing himself with... You mean... We never saw Andrew pushing himself with encouragement? Yeah. Versus, like, Fletcher? What do you mean? Well, like, Fletcher tried his method first, right? He didn't... We never really saw Andrew... Like, we saw him as the second chair in the other band or whatever. So I guess that's supposed to make us think that he wasn't training enough because he wasn't pushed hard enough? Well, I mean, we saw videos of Andrew as a... Eight-year-old mm-hmm. with a drum set. From there to when we started, that's how far he got. You know, in those years, with and then the, with his supportive father, that was su- like, "Yeah, you're doing it, man." Yeah, you, <laughs> you know? know, with the people being like, "Good job." Yeah, and, and, and then he his, has a, with his previous band director and director, whatever. He was like, "Okay, yeah, that's that's good enough. We'll go back to to just the course." Like undoubtedly, throughout this movie, Fletcher's method got results. It did. It's not the only way to get results, but is it the only way to get results on the, results on that level? I don't know, but this it's one of them, <laughs> you know. Yeah, no, that, and that's the thing. It's like you're looking at this movie, and it's like yeah. he is an asshole. How much damage is he doing? And then you look at the other side, it's like man, he did this to this kid and got yeah. him to like a, a point that he hadn't achieved for 19 years, you yeah. know, or however however long he's been drumming. Like I don't have children, but if I had a guy that did that to my kid and I knew about it I don't know how I'd react like oh he's trying to help and get him to achieve this thing I'm like yeah but through sheer abuse you know I might have to fuck this guy up <laughs> you know like how would you feel like because I think there's a level of it's... there's a level of like damn that's not easy I respect how hard he's going but also you're a fucking dick and if you do that to someone I love I might have to fuck you up <laughs> you know Sure. Isn't that, it's a, it's, it's very really complicated in that regard. I think there's that line of what's too much. Yeah. But I think there's also that line of like, when is this worth this? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, and, is, yeah. is what Andrew went through in his eyes worth what he got in the end? And also the kid's an adult, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. At that point, it's like if you had like a, an eighth grade band and they're doing this, you know? They're calling the fucking kids cocksuckers and, sure. you know, whatever else. Like, that's probably too much. You, yeah. know, you know what I mean? But like, if an adult's willing to sit with it and this is what they want to go through and that's what their drive is for, because hell, 
kids in kids coming out of high school don't usually know what they want. You know, Melissa's yeah. character didn't know what she wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eighth grade kid, you know, isn't gonna know what they want. Sure. So, you you want them to find things that they think they want to do, find some kind of joy, and then they they need to find the joy when they're younger, mm-hmm. and then they hopefully know what they want to do when True. they get older. Yeah. So it's that line between abusing yourself and abusing others. You know, like the example of like, well, what if this was your kid and this was happening to them is just trying to like get you in that, I, that the mindset of like, you know, self-abuse versus abusing others, you know? But I, I think a teacher probably shouldn't be like this. So like, if this is a college... Let's be honest. Right? 100% shouldn't be a, like this. He was col- slapping him. A college teacher probably shouldn't be like this. No, maybe, he deserved to be fired a million years ago. Maybe if it's like a private band yeah, and you're choosing to go there, like then maybe it's different. Uh, you know, I you know suppose I mean? if, like, at the beginning I was like, hey, are you okay with me assaulting you? I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then it's okay. But, no, but like, he was slapping him. If you're choosing to go to the number one college of whatever, yeah. and then the teacher you have is this guy, mm-hmm. but you want to go to that number one college who's going to help in your career, you don't get a lot of choice. Yeah. But if you're just choosing some kind of private band thing or whatever, and mm-hmm. this shit's happening to you, and you're like, well, fuck it, I'll just go find something else. Yeah. Like, like there's there's more options. But I don't think mm-hmm. colleges and stuff like that, like, they, mm-hmm. this is... That, no wonder they got rid of him, you know? Like, you know no, no, no wonder yeah. they got rid of him. Yeah. And even he kind of made a joke about it, you know? It was like, ah, just peaches and cream. I don't understand why they yeah. had anything bad to say. But what if it's like a different type of abuse? Like, what if it's sexual abuse instead of physical abuse or something? Well, like, sexual abuse is always bad, especially yeah. with a teacher or someone on power, you know? Like, that's, that's one of the bigger issues with that, right? Is, like, when teachers are doing that for, for students... And especially if it results in, like, well, now you get an A, you know? Sure. Like, that's just yeah. abusing like, power. It's stuff, the too. difference between, like, corporal punishment and timeout, not necessarily, like, sexual abuse. That one is always bad. The other one has been a debate, you know? Sure, yeah. Like, um, when a coach and a football team is yelling and stuff like that, too, like, what's the line of what he's allowed to call the teammates or how much he's allowed to push them, whatever. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've had a clipboard slapped against my helmet, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I've been they grabbing my pads and th- push me off because I'm doing something wrong, you know? Yeah. Um, but these are just grabbing your dick and shit. That's just bad. Yeah, you know, like, that's bad. You, know, you can't just do that. It's like, this is a helmet, <laughs> coach. There was no line. You look, at, look what you did, yeah. you know? And there's other forms of sexual harassment, but... I don't know what we're... Discussing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the topic is just so much. Well, lots of stuff like we're talking about law and being like, teachers, murder's always wrong. Teachers, right? teachers doing stuff. It's yeah. I think it's the idea. I think that what I was saying was like. I, I just want to put it out there. I think any abuse, yeah, is bad. Sure. Like Not Fumo, just. There's no acceptable abuse. It's just that it got him to that point. Like there's been a lot of scandals in sumo about like bullying, yeah. and harassing, and mm-hmm. like coaches like physically abusing. Yeah. Or having the students like physically abuse the coach, and like students physically abuse other students. Yeah. Okay, right. I, I was confused because they were physically abusing weapon. the coach, and I'm like, man, this is a scene that right. happened too. But like, at, <laughs> at least in Japan and sumo, it's not like you can just leave and go to another stable because mm-hmm. there's like twelve stables. Sure, right. I love it. They're called stables. Is that that's the like. Don't question it. Okay. Uh, yeah, he close. would know. <laughs> but I'm like curious what a stable is. Is that like a? It's exactly what it sounds like. And they just house them there and feed them? Yeah, or? yeah, they live there, they eat there, they train there. Yeah, it's like a, uh, from Spartacus. It's a gladiator. The, the only exception it? is if it's you're married. A, barracks. a uh, was it called a barracks? What was it called a barracks, was it? It's called what was it called? Spartacus, I can't remember. Domina, right? I remember that. <laughs> no, the Dominus was your master. <laughs> Dominus. I don't know. House. But, like, if you left to went to another one, yeah. like, a coach could blackball you from all the other ones. Mm-hmm. yeah. Kind of thing, and that happens with all kinds of stuff too. Otherwise, like yeah. not just in sumo, but that can happen with football teams. That can happen with actors. That can happen all yeah. kinds of stuff where like someone gets blackballed because they fought against whatever the abuse, whatever the issue was too. Which can, I mean, that could have been the problem. That's why uh, I think that you know there wasn't a public hearing. Andrew coming out anom- anonymously for the issue where he can't be targeted and not be able to play in a band. So many times, especially in, like, big colleges or big, you know, trade schools like this or whatever, they keep that internal. Yeah. They don't have any police or anything happen. Yeah. I wanted to see, like, what awards did this uh, this get? Whiplash? Yeah. So this is an independent film? That It, it was filmed in, like, 11 days or something. It was, like, a super condensed... 11 film. days? Yeah. No wonder. Uh, I believe it, honestly. Real. A lot of it just indoor, in that... Practice room. It makes sense. Probably all the stuff with like Melissa Benoist was like in one day, you know. Probably. 
So best supporting actor, Good. J.K. Simmons. Best sound mixing, I believe that. Best film editing. Yeah, the editing definitely got it. It got best picture nominee, 2015. But supporting actor, sound this mixing. 2015? 2015. Man, I didn't know it was that old. Uh, 2014 on IMDb. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, I should say 2015 uh, Academy Awards. Oh, okay. That's 80, when it was awarded with those. Okay. Uh, the film was shot in 19 days. 19 days. During the more intense practice scenes, the directors wouldn't yell cut so that Miles Teller would keep drumming until he exhausted himself. Yeah. I, that, I love that, too. You could obviously tell that the actors had to actually play. Yeah. You know, he was really doing the drumming. J.K. Simmons was really, at least for that one shot, really playing the piano. Uh, the director and writer of the film could not get funding for the movie, so instead turned it into a short, form, short film and submitted it to Sundance. The short film ended up winning the short form jury award, and he got funding. And then he got after. funding. Gotcha. Hmm. That's interesting. For the slapping scene, J.K. Simmons and Miles filmed several takes with Simmons only miming the slap. For the final take, Simons and Teller decided to film a scene with a real genuine slap. Slap me. Slap me. And that's the take that's in the film. Is it a take that's in the film? Yeah. See, you know what? I mean, I, I, actors actors love that. But stunt guys and most like action people will tell you it never looks as good as the fake one. Especially like a slap. Like... Because there's always a certain element of holding back, you know, as opposed to the fake one. But actors love doing that. They love the gen genuine feel of the sting in the face. But, like, a true stunt performer is going to make it look way better, you know? Hmm. Although a visual double was used, all of Andrew's drummings was performed by Miles Teller himself mm -hmm. to pre-recorded tracks. Yeah, I... 40% of the drumming was used in the soundtrack. Gotcha. I, I imagine that most of the close-up stuff was uh, a, a double. When it was doing the super technical drum beat, you know? But yeah, those wide to mid shots were definitely him, and I bought it. J.K. Simmons won 47 awards for his role as Fletcher. 47? Do we have 47 seven. available? He won 47 out of 30. It was the lowest grossing film ever to be nominated for Best Picture. Wow, okay. Wow. Interesting. Really good movie. Uh, I love the editing. Uh, it, it's weird, because like, by the time you get to the end, like we've been saying this whole time, it's yeah. just like you have questions of how you feel about it. Yeah. True, yeah. You know, like that's, yeah. and I, I, I imagine that's why it was up for Best Picture, of just like the, the feeling you get of watching it, of like, mm -hmm. do, you, do you agree, do you disagree? Putting myself what's the, through what's, this. What's the line? Is it worth it? You know, like all that kind of stuff, you know? Like you, you Eric's saying about like, I, I wouldn't be happy with it, you know? Like, will this guy be happy yeah. ever? You know, I was like, yeah. I don't know. Like that's. Yeah, is Do, it a happy ending? Is it a sad ending? Yeah, does he feel like he achieved something, or is he happy with the outcomes of everything? Or you know, and that's just all of us have that question now. Of like, and I guess that's good for a movie to do. There's not a lot of movies I watch where I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh you no, know? yeah, super challenging. I mean, I felt this way when I finished Last of Us Part Two. You know, <coughs> super challenging. Um, I finished Part One. You do, but no, I, I like when movies do that. And again, like. The editing and actual like <laughs> filmmaking of the movie was so strong that like I never once was like pulled out because I personally don't like that genre of music. You know, it, it, it's, it's like if I'm watching a sports movie about like horse polo. You know, like I don't care about horse polo. Why am I watching this? I might not watch it, but this like caught my attention the entire time. Your polka you obsession know? is well established, Eric. I do like polka. Polka, 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 polka. Yeah, polka. Thank you guys for watching this reaction to Whiplash. If you want to vote on the next <laughs> reaction, you can head over to patreon.com slash blindwave. Also, you could watch along uh, with us for the whole movie. You need your own mm -hmm. footage. Of course, we watch it through Amazon. You can too. Rick! Quiet. I was going to ah!